guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan this week i have a haul from target and aldi i like never go to target but it was easier to go to target and pick up the like couple non-food items that i needed than to go to walmart or do a walmart grocery pickup because walmart is like all the way over there and Aldi and Kroger are actually like right across the street from each other all the way over here so it just made more sense to go to Target and of course everybody goes on Target and spends more than they were supposed to picked up some things I didn't intend to purchase but they're kind of things that were kind of on my mind anyways I didn't buy like too much that was like just like impulse purchases so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the meal plan for the week and then we will get into the hauls okay here is our meal plan going from april 16th through april 22nd so um me and andy are actually getting vaccinated on saturday so i have a couple nights of easy meals just in case we end up being one of those people that you know like actually has a reaction like flu like kind of like symptoms like fever and all that just in case i did plan some easier meals um so we've got a barbecue pulled pork flatbreads and a salad um hot ham and cheese sandwiches i'll use like my griddle for those and i'll pull out some ham from easter out of the freezer and we're getting our shots at like 10 in the morning so after that um we're gonna pick something up for lunch just to make it super easy and then of course we usually have leftovers stuff for sandwiches whatever lunch is usually just like whatever you can find um tacos and me and lily are going to do taco sweet potatoes italian chicken tangy spaghetti and green beans shrimp and grits smoked sausage green beans and potatoes and tortilla chip crusted chicken with rice and beans and then I still haven't made the lemon cookies with the um, like lemon crushed lemon head stuff that I bought so I want to make lemon cookies and I have a ton of sweet potatoes to use up so that's why Lily and I are doing taco sweet potatoes we'll probably also have some sweet potatoes for lunch but that is the meal plan for the week okay here is everything that I got at Target once you get to the milk that's like the Aldi stuff this is the Target stuff and then over here is all of the Aldi stuff if you want to leave a guess for the total, leave it in the comments down below. Um, I will say I spent almost the same amount at Aldi as I did at Target. So got way more at Aldi for my money, but that's because it's like all food items. And this is all like non-food items. So starting off, I got this big tote. This wasn't something I intended to buy, but it was kind of something that I've been thinking about getting just to hold like all of our pool like toys and stuff I have like a beach bag but I usually use that for the towels and I think I'll use this for like all the toys and stuff and this was six bucks I thought that was a good price for how big it is I ended up just throwing everything that I bought in there and not even using a bag I wanted some knuckle or like finger bandages but they didn't have any so instead I got these hydro seal ones it was the perfect size for my finger because uh, I needed a band-aid on my knuckle. Yeah. If you saw the day in the life last week, I tripped and fell and I busted my knuckle and I hurt my ankle. My ankle's better now, but I'm trying to heal my finger <laughs> and I needed some more band-aids. I got this Zyrtec or generic Zyrtec for Andy. This camera does not focus the greatest. Okay, there you go. Still working with this new camera, guys, and trying to figure out how to make it work properly. I got this e.l.f. Hydration Face Cream to use at night because I'm almost out of my nighttime like moisturizer. So I got this one to try. I got some parchment paper because Aldi doesn't have a parchment paper all year round, and I needed some more. I found this in like the dollar spot. It was a dollar. Flying disc looked perfect for like the pool or the beach so we got that I got some masks Andy has been asking for some masks that actually like fit his face the ones that he gets for free at work and they fit his face but they're like white and he doesn't really like them um like because they're white so he's been asking for some different ones and I haven't been able to find any that fit him properly 
but these looked like the shape that he wanted and they come in like a large extra large size to fit his face so hopefully he likes those they were really cheap their masks were all buy one get one 50 percent off so this pack ended up being three dollars and then i bought another pack for myself that ended up being three dollars as well and these fit my face great i already opened it up and tried them on so i really like those we got some laundry sanitizer this is one of the main reasons i went to target and walmart was actually out of it so i couldn't have gone to walmart um but yeah, I love this stuff. This big bottle of it is $7.99 at Target, and I think that's a great price. It's more than that at Kroger. I got a thing of wipes. We are running low on our little package of baby wipes, and I just like to keep one on hand to wipe faces and clean up some messes and stuff. They just are great to have on hand. And then I got some bug spray. That was another reason we had to go. Definitely needed some bug spray. The mosquitoes are out and biting. Um, I got some shampoo for myself and decided to get this Garnier Fructis Pure Clean. Um, I just smelled good. I think I've used it before, but it's been a while. And then it also came with a little small size of the like leave-in conditioner. So that was nice. And then I got a duster kit because I'm out of the little refills. And then I got a pack of two hand towels because we needed some more. Because I'm always throwing them in the wash and then not having enough to like put one up. So I'm trying to stock up on white hand towels because those are the color that I prefer to use. And I can just throw them all in and bleach them. So that is everything from Target. And we'll move on to the Aldi stuff. I got one gallon of milk. I got some more of this sweet blueberry wine. I got this last week and I really liked it. If you like blueberries and you like wine like sweet wines i think you'll like that because i really enjoyed it i got some more orange juice and some apple juice got some mozzarella cheese and some extra sharp cheddar cheese some more frozen strawberries to put in smoothies i got some more napkins and paper plates i'm telling you guys paper plates have been like a lifesaver lately just there's so much going on and just dishes. I just uh, don't want to do dishes. Um, and this saves me from having to do as many dishes. So it helps It helps me. Yep. Got some quart size freezer bags. Got some eggs. I got the Make Fudge Not War. A little premium ice cream. I had the Thank You Cherry Much last week. And I really wanted that again because it was so good. But they didn't have it. This was the only flavor they actually had this week. So everybody's buying up the other flavors. But I decided to try this one. It's just chocolate ice cream with brownie chunks. So I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Got some heavy whipping cream. Some honey wheat bread. Some ciabatta rolls. I got these to throw in the freezer because they were a dollar off. And um, we really like those for different kinds of sandwiches and stuff. So I'll throw those in there and we'll have them at some point in the next couple of months. Got some English muffins and some non flatbreads. Again, I'll throw those in the freezer. I always like to have those on hand. The kids picked these pub style pretzels this time. I heard that these are very similar to like the Dots pretzels. So we're gonna give those a try. And then we got these Ridges cheddar and sour cream potato chips, probably similar to like Ruffles. Haven't tried them before, so we're trying those. And then the kids picked strawberry cereal bars and blueberry cereal bars and then we got a variety pack of the chewy granola bars and then just the chewy chocolate chip ones because andy will only eat the chocolate chip but the kids will eat all the other flavors so i like to get more of the chocolate chip we got a can of black beans and a jar of grape jelly i prefer jam but Aldi doesn't have jam. They only have jelly. So we got jelly. I also checked at Target for jam, but they were out. So jelly it is this time. We'll see how we like it. We got some pepperonis and four things of tomato paste to have on hand. Got some more garlic powder and onion powder. Taco shells for the boys to have when we do taco night. Got some butter popcorn because we're pretty much out of popcorn. 
Last week was German week and they actually didn't have the mustards out at my store, but this time they did. And I have picked this one up in the past. It's the whole grain mustard and we really like it. It's been quite a while since I actually bought it, but it's the same as it always was. And um, yeah, I'm excited to have that again. We will probably have, or at least I will probably have this on our hot ham and cheese sandwiches because we used to do that all the time, make like basically grilled cheese but with all different kinds of stuff like tomatoes and ham or bacon. And some people say that's not still a grilled cheese. They just call that like a hot sandwich. We still called it a grilled cheese or we call them delicious yummy sandwiches. <laughs> but this mustard is really good on them. And then I got some more of this small batch restaurant style salsa. This is our favorite salsa from Aldi. And then this is our favorite barbecue sauce from Aldi, but they only have it like for the spring and like summer months. So now's the time to get it and then towards the end of the season I will stock up to make sure that I have some through the fall and winter. But this is the Kansas City style barbecue sauce. I also have a Texas style and a Memphis style and I think there's one other one maybe like a Carolina style. Can't remember for certain. But this is the only one I have tried. The other ones I think all say that they're sweet. But this one says smooth and zingy and that's what we prefer in a barbecue sauce so that's the one we stick to and i bought two bottles to have on hand got some grape tomatoes some more green onions got some cilantro some strawberries they're not on super sale yet but the kids really wanted them and they were with me so i picked them up got some mini cucumbers some big beefsteak tomatoes some mini sweet peppers, a bag of pink lady apples, and a bag of navel oranges, and a pineapple, and then Andy's cola. And, and that is it for the haul this week. So I spent $74.77 at Aldi, and I spent $76.44 at Target. So I will have the total of both stores here on the screen for you guys. And that is going to be it for my haul this week. Don't forget, if you're using Fetch Rewards, scan your receipts so you can get your points. And if you haven't already signed up for Fetch Rewards, my link is always in the description box down below. You can sign up with my link. You earn some bonus points and I earn some bonus points. And then you can earn more points by scanning your receipts from all kinds of stores and all kinds of places. And then you can use those points to cash out for gift cards. I usually always cash out for Amazon gift cards. I've done it so many times now. So thank you to all of you who have already signed up with my Fetch link. And thank you to those of you that will sign up. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.